من متنا إنك سميع مجيب الدعاء اللهم اني اعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع وقلب لا يخشع ونفس لا تشبع ودعاء لا يسمع ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي جزاك الله خير فور كومين اتس بيوتيفول تو سي ذا مسجد فور ما شاء الله وي الله ريورد ذا برذرز اند ذا سيسترز اند ايفري ون يو اول نو اتس هاو You all remember six weeks ago when I was here, life was beautiful. We had a lot of plans, right? And uh, everything was going the way we want. And look at the difference in less than six weeks. And Allah knows what we are going to be facing in the coming days, weeks, months, we don't know. There's a couple of things I want to share with you. And may Allah reward the Imam. Those of you who know Arabic and know the Quran, he read exactly what we need to hear today. May Allah reward him, I don't think I'm seeing him. He read for us in the first ruqa, the verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. And then the second ruqa he read, the last page of Surah Ibrahim. And absolutely goes with the title of today. In general, Whenever we go through difficulty, not necessarily what is happening in Gaza, really, any difficulty in life, real one, real challenge, when it takes a long time, and we don't see in our human perception that there is a way out, what usually happens, majority of the time, illa marrahim rabbi, we lose hope. Now let me. Show me hands, the camera is on me, so it's not going to show you. How many of you today have felt there's no way out? It's been two weeks, things are moving from worse to even more worse. How many of you? Show me hands. There is a reason why this topic was changed. This was not the topic, you all know. They changed the flyer this morning. So don't be shy. Feeding, in fact, we have a program tomorrow in my masjid in California, is about helplessness and hopelessness. It is not unusual. That I'm going to share with you a couple of things. What we all are feeling, and I am number one, is absolutely normal. And don't look at yourself and say, how dare I feel this way? Am I not a Muslim? Am I not a Mormon? Yes, we are. But we're human beings and especially living far away, especially with all the atmosphere around us, we're feeling we're alone. We're already a minority, and now we're feeling even more minority. That's one. Am I correct? Second, this may come to some of us, the question that shaitan is going to put in you and me. Aren't we the believers? Aren't we the Muslims? Aren't we the servants of Allah? Where is the victory of Allah? True or false? Yes or no? Yes. I want to hear it. Yes. Only the sisters. All of us. Comes and goes. Again, natural. It happened with the Sahaba, with the Rasul, Why? He answered them. You're rushing. Human being, we want things quickly. Not necessarily because we're living in this day and age. In general, عجوله. وكان الإنسان عجوله. Human beings want things very quick. Sabr, being patient, is extremely difficult. True or false? That's what the Imam read in the first ruqa. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اسْتَعِينُوا الصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين. Seek help, meaning I need help. Think of it this way. Why did Allah tell me? استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة. Then He's going to talk about martyrs, meaning I need that. It's not going to be easy. Be patient, and patient alone is not easy, and it's not easy to be done. What helps is salah. So, with the, and I'm going to comment and I'm going to give you take home messages. Sta'inu, meaning seek help, meaning I need help, meaning I can't do it alone, meaning I'm weak. So, all these are fine. 
Are you all with me? These feelings are expected. That's what Allah has done to me indirectly. Seek help. When do you seek help? When you think you can't do it anymore. When you think you are, don't have enough strength. Alhamdulillah, that's who I am. And you are fine. But what do I do? Ya Allah, don't give up. Never, ever give up. In any trial you go through, let alone the one we are going through. I think this is one of the toughest. How many of you were here in September 11, after September 11? Show me hands. Not many of you. We thought it was bad. I was there actually, I was doing my residency. No, this is much worse. The atmosphere we are living in. But, expect it. Sta'inu bis sabri wa sala. I'm going to write a prescription. I'm a physician, as you all know. I'm going to write a prescription for you. Number one, called sabr. Be patient. We'll come to it later if time allows. Now, salah. This is really important. This is not the time that I am going to do my two seconds salah. This is not the time I am going to do my salah when I have time. This is not the time. I was so happy when I saw this masjid full. Actually, all the masjid. Last Friday, our program in uh, California, in ICOI, there was not a space to put a needle. Not a person. Alhamdulillah. Salah. As-salah, as-salah, salah on time in the masjid. Uh, Jama'ah, Fajr, Isha, and the dua, and the dua. That's what Allah said. Sta'inu bis sabri wa salah. You are practicing sabr, Allah is with you. That's what he's saying. Inna Allah ma'as-sabri. Whenever I am feeling bitter, and we all are, I mean, the images we are seeing, this is the main difference between now and September 11, because we are seeing reality. The images are coming. I mean, I'm sure you all are seeing it. And this, when I meet sabr, I say to Allah, Ya Allah, this is very difficult, but you're going to make me sabr. You're going to make me patient, because I know you're seeing it. You're seeing it, you're hearing it, you're allowing it. Nothing happens in this world without the permission of Allah. The famous hadith of Rasul What has befallen you would never miss you. Then I look at the images that we all are seeing, whether on the local or on the international, whether on the reality and the lack of, whether of the justice and the injustice. You all know this. I am going to say, Ya Rabbi, I am seeing it. And I am the sinner. And I'm feeling this way. What is Allah saying? We're Muslims. Everything has to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is Alim. Yes or no? Allah all knowing. Yes or no? Allah is Sami'a, all hearing. Yes or no? And Allah is Hakim. Allah is all wise. There is Hikmah in this. Many of you will say, Where is it? What Hikmah in children dying? You all are seeing the images. It, 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 it melts your heart. Still, Allah is Hakim. Because when the people were killed in, in Uhud, Allah was Hakim, and still is Hakim. And when the people were killed in Martyr Sayyidina Hamza, and was, his body was mutilated, Allah Hakim, and Allah is Rahim. And this is Hamza. This is not me and you. So you come with this. These are the things you're going to take it with you. Always get connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Rabbi, there is Hikmah. Ya Rabbi, there is wisdom. I am not seeing it. Show me and keep me steadfast. Second is what he read. وَلَا تَقُولُ لِمَنْ يُقَاتَلُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتٍ بَلْ أَحْيَامٌ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُ Those who died. Number one, before I comment on this. How many of you in this room show me hands? We are all going to die. كُلُّ نَفْسٍ دَعْقَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every single soul will taste Death, not my words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said it two times in the Quran, three times actually. Now, how I will die, 
literally reflect how I was living. So those people who died as martyrs, and we all believed in this, and that's exactly what I just read, and the Imam read to you, don't you think those who died, who were killed, for the sake of Allah, they are dead. No. Ahya, they are living. You hear this in the, in the clips you are seeing, it. some of them are saying it. And you say, what kind of a faith they have that this verse comes to them. I keep saying to myself, Allah is allowing it. Allah is Hakim. Allah is wise. And they have a way better life with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three, again in the verse, Allah, I was not exactly planning in the sequence, but the ayah gave me the sequence. And look at the sequence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The al tawkid and Noon al tawkid You will be tested. And that's not my words. That's your Allah, everybody. You will be tested. The problem us, especially living in here, the test we haven't seen it. The one that Allah is talking about in this verse. We live in a very comfortable life. What is our problem? Can I buy a house? Or I'm gonna st stay living in a renting place, right? Should I send my child to a public school or to a private school? Should I come to this masjid or I go to the other? Should I have my car of 2018 or it's 23 now, I need to buy a new car. Am I right? Majority of us, we are not starving. We have a roof. But Allah says, you will be tested. And that's woman min Allah qila. Who is more truthful than Allah? Be shayin. Now again, I'm translating the verse that Imam read. That's in Surah Al-Baqarah. The cow. Little bit off. Be shayin min. Those of you who know Arabic. Little bit off. Be shayin min al khawf. Fear. Look around you. Here. I travel today, alhamdulillah. Went absolutely well. Many people were telling me don't travel. You know how it is these days. Right? And alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. On the contrary, I was treated super nice. Alhamdulillah. But there was this discomfort in the beginning. Get ready, in case. بِشَيْءٍ مِنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ They are feeling it. No food. وَنَقَّصٍ A little bit less of الْأَمْوَالِ Wealth وَالْأَنفُسْ Life وَالْثَمَرَاتِ Corpse, wealth. We will be tested. Each one of us. Each one of us. Today is Gaza. We don't know when is us. Inshallah not. But Allah said you will. You will. Back to the same thing. Give a glad tidings to those who are patient. How many of us? Again, it's a question for everybody. Are you patient? In general, most of us, the answer is, Let's, let's talk. Most of us are impatient because again of the luxury we have, technology, the internet, everything is very quick, right? Bashir is sabri. Who, and the Imam read it beautifully if you paid attention, he kept repeating it and says, وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ Give glad tidings to those who are patient, those who when they are afflicted by a calamity. And we all are afflicted now. Whether we are immediate, and some of you, I'm sure, you have family there. And those of us who are here and seeing, إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصَيْبًا When a test, when a calamity is affecting them, they say, to Allah we belong, and to Allah we are returning. How do I stay strong? How do I stay strong? I need to know the reality. I will be tested. Second, I am not the first, I am not the last. The best of the creation, that is the most beloved creator, creation to Allah, was tested. I asked myself this many times since all this started. 
why the victory, why the conquer of Mecca took how many years? Those of you who know Sira, what, how many years? Roughly, roughly, almost 20 years. Why? Why 20? Couldn't Allah says, Kun fayakun, and they left, get him out of Mecca, next day he's back? Can Allah do that? I want to hear it. Why Allah delayed it? Why? That's why I keep telling you, Allah is Hakim. Allah is Hakim. So I need to know in me, the victory of Allah is coming. And I'm not being arrogant. That's what my deen tells you. But there is a big but there. More than one. Time is not I decide or you decide. Or I'm getting impatient, Ya Allah. I, don't have, I can't take it anymore. That's me. For him, in kulli shay'in khalaqnahu bi qadar. Everything had its due measure in time. Will I see it and you see it? Could be, could be not. But you have to have this faith. Wa'ad Allah al-ladheen, this is a surah to know. Wa'ad Allah al-ladheen amanu minkum wa'amilu al-salihati la yastakhlifannahum fi al-arb kama istakhlif al-ladheen min qablihim wa yumakinanna lahum deenahum al-ladhi irtada lahum wa la yubaddinannahum min ba'di khawfihim amna ya'budunani la yushrikuna bi shay'a Allah gave this promise to those who are real believers and those who does good deeds three things they will have power in this earth they will he will replace their fear with them. peace and serenity and they will have the power and they will be able to practice their deen that's a promise from Allah and who is more truthful in speaking than Allah Woman but he didn't tell me one he didn't tell me one. So you need to have this faith inside you, everybody. The victory of Allah is coming. But I don't know when. Could be another hundred years. I don't know when. And that's what I need to tell myself and I need to tell my children. Three, what do I need these days? This may be a little bit make some of you uncomfortable. The question to everybody. What are you doing differently for the last two weeks? What are you doing differently with Allah? With Allah. I'm not saying, Alhamdulillah, I'm sure you are, because everybody is, you know, I'm sure you went out for demonstrations, I'm sure some of you may contact your representative, all things that they are telling us. I'm talking about personally between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What changed? What changed in you? In the relationship, the feelings and the actions. Did you really turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If not, we need to from tonight. In your dua, in your sujood, in your tahajjud, cried, begged him like who you are seeing is your own family and says, Ya Allah, give them patience, give them victory, keep them strong, and spread justice on this earth. That's the least I can do. And you never know, you never know, maybe one of you, one of you, one of us, their dua will be granted. Turn back to Allah. This is the time, I and you as Muslims, we need to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the best in us. Show Allah the best in you. This is not the time to celebrate this and that. And I'm not talking about haram, I'm sure that it is not, but this is not the time. This is the time where we need to wake up. The message from Allah, is telling us, come back to me, I'll give you a victory. Come back to me, you will be strong. It's a famous hadith of Rasulullah 
in case you wonder the question, why? Why this is happening? He predicted it. This hadith in Abi Dawood, Thawban, the Sahabi, said the following, that the Rasulullah said the meaning of تُوشِكُ أَنْ تَدَاعَ عَلَيْكُمُ الْأُمَمْ كَمَا تَدَاعَ الْأَكْلَةُ عَلَى الْقَصْعَ It's going to be a time where nations, nations will all attack you the same way the hands attack the one plate. Think of it and reflect. And then they asked, قَالَ قَائِلُ مِنْهُمْ One of them said, Ya Rasulullah, we are مِنْ قِلَّتِنَا because we are few. That's what they thought. Few. قَالَ كَلَّا بَلْ أَنْتُمْ كَثِيرٌ No, 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 no. On the contrary, you will be a lot. 1.3 or 4 billion now. وَلَيَنْزَعَنَّ اللَّهُ مِنْ قُلُوبِ عَدُوِكُمْ مَهَابَتَكُمْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will strip the fear of your enemies about you. Your enemies will not be scared of you. That's the words of Rasulullah And he said, أَصَابَكُمْ الْوَهَنْ You will be weak. الْوَهَنْ Wahan is usually a term we use when the human being becomes older, like, you know, 80s and 90s, and they become frail. And they said, Ma, what, what's the wahan, Ya Rasulullah? What is this weakness? Now pay attention. That's the change I need to do. Hubbu dunya wa karahati al-mawt. You will end up loving this dunya, and you hate to die. Who, do, who wants to die? You know who wants to die? And I'm not talking about you go and fight and become a martyr in general. If you're connected with Allah and you want to see Allah, man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allah liqa Allah. The person who loves to meet Allah. Does that hadith apply to us these days as Muslims? Does that hadith apply to us that Muslim? Us Muslims, look at our 24 hour. 24 hour. The 24 hour removes sleep. What are we focused and doing? It's dunya. It's all dunya. And I'm not talking about haram. That needs to change. Now, needs to change. Let's focus more on Allah. That doesn't mean I'm going to quit my job. That doesn't mean I'm not. I will. But the focus is Allah. The question before I do anything, is this is pleasing to you, Ya Allah? Is this is going to make me a stronger Muslim, closer to you, Ya Allah? Change. This is what we need. Don't lose hope. Allah is allowing it. There is a big message to all of us. Things will change. Maybe I will not see it in my lifetime. But I have no doubt. I have no doubt. And that's what he read for you in the second book, the last page of Surah Ibrahim. Allah is talking to Rasul and he says, Don't you ever think that Allah does not know what the wrongdoers are doing. But he is giving them time. He is leaving them to the day where the eyes will be opened completely. When you start staring and your eyes doesn't move. And then he goes on. And then another verse in it. It's beautiful verses for those of you who know Arabic. Go and read it. It will give you strength. They plotted. And look at all the plots around us. And Allah knows what they are doing, their plot. And Allah is not belittling their plots. The way they are plotting, so strong that mountains can perish and disappear. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes back and said, فَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ مُخْلِفَ وَعْدِهِ رُسُولًا إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ ذُو انْتِقَامٌ I need this verse with me. 
when I go to work, when I go to school, when I'm walking in the street and I'm a woman wearing hijab, if I am a brother, with, and obviously I look as a Muslim, but my name is Muhammad or Abu I need this. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ مُخْلِفَ وَعْدَهُ رُسُلِهِ Don't you think Allah will not keep His promise to His, to his prophets? What did Allah promise us? I just shared with you the verse in Surah al -Nur. إِنَّ اللَّهَ Verily Allah Aziz, might, ذُلْ تِقَامٌ He is able of retaliation. This is where I need to stay strong. Know about Allah. This is the time where as family, you sit down with your children. Bring any simple books of the names of Allah. Explain it to them. Literally, explain it to yourself first. And the more you know about Allah, you will stay grounded. You will stay grounded. One, do a lot of act of worship. This is one of the things that keep your iman and my iman is strong. Any kind of extra or act of worship that you can. You can fast, go ahead. You can pray more, do it. Donate, charity, help in the masjid. Anything you can do for Allah. Not necessarily to directly there, because sometimes our hands are tight. There isn't much we can do physically. But you can do a lot with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you will never know. And you will never know. And keep saying this to Allah. What Sayyidah Hajar said to Sayyidina Ibrahim, when he left her alone in the desert, nothing with a breastfeeding baby, complete desert, لن يضيعنا الله. Allah will never let us down. The only thing I, I, He wants from me, and I will end up here because I want to open it up for questions and answers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Muhammad, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, O you believers, in tansur Allah, yansurkum, wa yuthabbit aqadamakum. Believers, you and me, all of us, if you give Allah victory, Allah will give you victory and will keep you steadfast. Scholars always like, how do I give victory to Allah? Me? You? Us? You know what it means? Obey Him. Be proud to be a Muslim without being arrogant. Do what pleases Him. Spread the message of Islam in the right way then he will give me victory. He will give me victory. This is his word, it's not me. Keep you steadfast. You're not gonna feel, ah, this and that. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to hear what we heard after September 11. Don't, don't, don't. Don't be arrogant, speak wisely. If you don't know how to speak, stay quiet and, and move on, but never get shaken. Stay strong. Al-Mu'min Qawi. The believer is strong because he's connected with the strong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate all the sufferings that we are seeing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep the people of Gaza strong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate all their sufferings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spread peace on his earth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spread justice on his earth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, all of us, a mean of spreading justice, spreading peace. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all for all our shortcomings, for all the things that we should and can, but we haven't done it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond to all our dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, within kun fayakun, we wake up and we see all this done بإذن سبحانه سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه تسليما كثيرا. And I will open it to questions um, and keep it to the point, please, if I can kindly ask like the questions related to the topic. Anyone? Yes, Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. What do you do? You mentioned the feelings of hopelessness and, and those feelings, but what do you do with the guilt? 
like guilt feeling guilt. of because Just because I'm gonna go home to my bed. My my children are gonna be there. I'm gonna take my car. I have all of my comforts. I'm home. Okay. But I know what's happening. How do you reconcile? This is a very good question, and this is actually repeatedly is being said and felt. I feel guilty, right? I feel a little bit upset when I see whatever we see, and then we go and have dinner and lunch and go to bed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the question of you. Feeling guilty is good. That means you have faith. That means you're feeling for your brothers and sisters. That means the hadith of Rasul the parable of the believers, where they feel for each other, check on each other, like the body. If one part gets sick, the rest of the body will respond with fever. You know this hadith. So feeling guilty is very good news. As long as the guilt does not make me hopeless, what should I do? Then I turn to Allah and says, Ya Rabbi, what can I do? I live here and I shared it with you. Number one, everybody, turn back to Allah. Please forgive me, this is not the time to start watching this and that. This is not the time even to entertain each other. Right? This is the time that we are, this is time of nawazi. This is the time of calamity. And the time of calamity is we turn fully to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not the time let's go and have lunch together. Unless the lunch together is going to bring something, makes me stronger person, and makes me helpful. So that's number two, three, extra. Whenever I feel guilty, you know what I do? Get up and do two extra rukat. Get up and do real, real, if you cannot pray, you're in a place you can just do dua. The more I feel I'm doing something, the guilt becomes less. And this is what I need to do. And you never know, as I said, maybe your dua, when you're feeling helpless, and you're really, really in need, who else will respond to the person who's in need? So feeling guilt is good, but don't let it, as we say, paralyze you. And you say, and, and this is for everybody. Any, this is the time that you and me needs to be so grateful. There should be no word of complaint. Exactly, now you're feeling the ni'mah of having a bed, the ni'mah of having food, right? The ni'mah of feeling, living in peace. I need to be very grateful. This is another dua I say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, ij'alni min ash-shakirin. Ya Rabbi, make me among those who are grateful. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us, Ya Rabbi, Ameen. Anyone else? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have a question, but it might be a bit controversial, but I generally want to know the answer. Bismillah. So, um, okay, so especially in this really hard time, people are scared, especially those who are visibly Muslim, they're, they're scared to, you know, be Muslims or show their beliefs because they're scared of what will happen to them. Right. But is it a sin to hide that you're visibly Muslim? Because in Mecca, when everyone's converting to uh, is, Islam, like when they're Muslim, they, they were shy to hold their faith, and okay. only when Omar radiallahu anhu was like, okay. great. So, so I got your, your I got your question. Yeah. I'm gonna be very very honest. So should I take off my hijab when I'm in public? Should I not pray at work? Should I not say I'm a Muslim? Should I not come for Jum'ah? Right. What is the answer? Let's see what the Dallas community will tell me. What about the brothers? Absolutely not. How will Allah respond to my dua? However, having said that, I, again, I lived September 11th. That night, I had to go at 3 a.m. to deliver a baby. And everybody was so scared. You need to be cautious. Yes. For example, I tell the youth, this is not the time I'm gonna go at 9 p.m. And, and have an ice cream. It's not the time, for many reasons. Number one, I shouldn't, the guilt feeling. 
but mainly is be very cautious. Yes, careful about your surroundings, but don't give up your deed. Look at them. Look at them. You all have seen. You all have, you all have seen that there were videos. You've seen the video of the man who came to the ER. His son was dead, and his younger son was dead. What did he say? Yeah. He said, "Don't you cry. This is not a time to cry. We have we have been honored." And I was like a rugby. So stay strong. But this is not the time that you're going to call people for Islam. If they ask you, you respond. Don't say things without knowledge. Don't say things without knowledge. Don't be emotional, because once you are emotional, you're going to start saying things that is not correct. Keep your identity. Allahu khayrun hafidah. Allah is the one who protects us. But again, be cautious. Be cautious. And the best thing you do, especially for us working, is talk to the people around you. Around you, when they ask you about what is going on, many people, Muslims, young generation, don't know anything about what is going on. I had my colleague ask me, "Well, where is Palestine? T tell me the geography." People don't know. Allahumma fi qawmi fa innahum la yaalamu. Stay strong. Get together. May Allah reward you for this question, because that verse now Allah subhanahu wa taala made me remember. This is not the time. That we Muslim, Muslims, don't get together and be one hand. This is not the time that we quarrel and disagree. Ya ayuh aladina amanu, ida laqitun fi'atan fatwatu. This verse is in Surah Al-Anfal. O believer, when you meet a fi'a, meaning the enemy, stay steadfast. How do I stay steadfast? And Allah gives it to you. Ya ayuh aladina amanu, ida laqitun fi'atan fatwatu. First thing, وَذْكُرْ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Lot of dua, lot of dua. Like when I was getting into the plane, Ya Allah, make it easy. Ya Allah, ya Allah make me say, if someone, make me say the right thing. This is all dua. This means I am connected with Al-Qawi. Ya أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا O believers, إِذَا لَقِيتُمْ فِئَةً فَثْبُتُوا Stay steadfast. He didn't say, take off your hijab, don't pray, don't say, I'm a Muslim. Stay steadfast. But then I get scared. وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Keep the dhikr. That's the time I do a lot of istighfar. A lot of istighfar. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين Took him out of the bottom of the whale. And then وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ Second verse وَأَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ And obey Allah and His Messenger. And then Third, these are, they call it مقومات الثبات. These are what we need to stay steadfast. ولا تنازعوا. Do not quarrel. Do not disagree. It's not the time. The masjid should be here, or the masjid should be there, or the imam should do. That's not the time. ولا تنازعوا. And he said, why? فتفشلوا. You'll be weak. You'll be weak, and you will fail. وتذهب ريحكم. And your strength will be gone. And then, وَصْبِرُوا بَعْنَا Back again. إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِ So here, we need to stay strong. We need to be wise. We need to learn. This is the time you teach again your family, everybody. Teach them about what is going on. We had a whole program last Friday. One third of the program was about the history. What is the history? What they are fighting about? Why do, we, why do they say it's their land? Many people don't know. The youth, the youth, they don't know. Many people, if you did not grow up in the Middle East, many people don't know that. That's the time. Teach. Without, teach them to be arrogant. Just teach them. Knowledge is power. But stay st steadfast. Pray to all. I was debating this morning, should I pray my Fajr in the airport? And I literally said to myself, shame on you if you didn't pray. And I did. Alhamdulillah, and everything went well. I even debated, should I do sunnah or not? You know this? We are human. Alhamdulillah. And people were smiling in my face. Rabbi, like alhamd. Turn, but keep connected with Allah. Ya qawi, qawi. Ya Allah, you are the strong. Keep me strong. And he will be in this.
Any other question? Yes, Marshall. Yes. Can I have the mic so because I can't hear? And can you tell me your name and your age? He's writing. My name is Aman, and I am 10 years old. Do you know what your name means? Uh, peacekeeper. Aman. So, Aman? Yes. So, you said that if you are ta entertain yourself, it's kind of wrong, right? I didn't say it is wrong. I said it's not the right time. So, like, I'm if... Glad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, if, like, tomorrow I wanted to go down and watch TV, like, would it be wrong? What's already going to be? Tomorrow? Okay, I love that question. <laughs> no, really, you know what the question tells me? You were really paying attention. Marshall, what are you going to be watching? I probably like a show on Disney Plus. <laughs> where is Daddy? <laughs> or, or where is Mama? I will say the following. I'm not going to say right or wrong, because I really don't know exactly what you're going to watch. I will say, can I ask you a question? Are you feeling for the, the, the children who are suffering? Of course. I love it. I love it. This is how it should be. Do you think watching the Disney tomorrow will help them? No. Then what is the answer? No. That's it. And this is for everybody. I love the question. May Allah be with you. Everything we are going to do, for him is Disney, for me could be something else, for the brothers could be something else, for the sisters could be something else. The question, what I am doing, is it going to help them? Picking up my Quran and reading, is it going to help them? Yes. How? Because I'll be stronger. So I'm not going to say haram, wrong, it's just this is the question. Is it going to be helping them in any way? Helping, having a justice? Go ahead and do it. Barakallah fi Allah. Can you come with me to California? <laughs> okay, any other question? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I work in a corporate organization. You work in a corporate organization. Okay. And I, as a person, uh, wanted to send an email to them. I drafted it. I put it in the draft. Okay. But I didn't send it for various reasons. Uh, so here you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt you because this is probably happening everywhere. So you you the support we are seeing. This is the difference between now and September 11. The support is unprecedented. And uh, letter is being sent to schools. That are being sent to everywhere. What we do, actually, I just got, just before I came, there was one, one similar incident. And actually, a couple of people responded, but you have to be very wise. So I highly recommend you reach out to your local organizations to tell you what to write, right? Again, polite. And, and then the, the organization actually responded with another, I don't remember the detail, please forgive me, but they responded with a similar uh, email that saying justice, injustice is for both sides. They donated for one side, they ended up donating to the other side. So again, it depends, but this is the least we can do. That at least we respond in a way that this is, I mean schools, I have one of my friends, the schools, last Friday, they sent an email to all the students, it was very, I don't know if it's happened here, but they're in California, she responded in a very nice way, she showed it to me, and she said, as you are worried about the other students, I'm worried about my child, and they had a very nice response, so basically, we need to act, but we need to act in a polite and firm and reasonable way. We don't want to come out as we are. Uh, we are unfair. If you respond to injustice with another injustice, then what did we do? So we have to be really careful, and but also ask Allah. And I always do this before I speak. Before I write, Allah, make me speak what pleases you. Make me write what pleases you. And may Allah make it easy. Yes. Yes. 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, one of the questions that I had was, it's in relation to the amount of boycotting that we need to do. So some of the companies during this time donated money or gave money to um, Israel aid. It's part of the question, just a minute to do. What about our tax money that is going to We live in here, not to pay tax money. Sorry? You live here.